Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the single phase induction motor. Up to now, we can we continued of three phase induction motor, three phase induction motor performance. Now we are entering into the we are replacing three phase with the single phase. So when the three phase three phase winding three phase supply will be converted into the single phase, it have some modifications. Otherwise, the motor will not work. So we should discuss here. So generally, single phase induction motor will generally the construction is like this. We have single phase induction motor stator is like this. So stator having some windings. Stator having some windings. So in order to give some winding, we should provide some slots. In the slots, single phase winding will be given. So now we are giving the single phase supply. Single phase. This is nothing but the AC supply. Single phase AC supply we are giving. So what happened? We should discuss here. So generally, you know that the single phase supply means single phase supply. You know the single voltage and current flux will be like this only flux will be like this if you take the flux is like this when single phase supply is given to these windings the flux will be generated what amount of flux will be generated we should discuss the flux will be like this flux will follow only single phase supply that means half of the part is half of the part is like this and half of the part is like this and this is the half of the part and it will be continued it will be continued like this okay so we have the stator stator is nothing but the main flux that means main flux is we should give for the field and that flux is alternative look at this is flux is the alternative nature this is the alternative nature so then what happened look at here this flux can be divided into two parts the first part is the maximum part is flux phi m by 2 maximum part is phi m by 2 look at here this is the this part and we should take the red ink like this so you should take this this part this is related to the phi and it, it has some nature the positive nature and we can name it as the forward flux forward flux and it rotates with the anti-clockwise direction it, that means it is in positive nature simply and the second part look at the second part this is the second part second part is so B we can take it uh, backward flux we can take it as the phi B backward flux and it has the maximum is phi m by 2 and it is in negative way look at here this is in the negative way and look at here this is the positive way so it rotate with the clockwise direction so look at here this is the clockwise direction so up to this up to this point just observe here up to this positive half cycle and negative half cycle just observe here what happened the resultant flux this is the same flux this is the opposite both will be added the resultant flux will become zero so when the single phase supply is given to the stator of the single phase induction motor then the resultant flux will become the zero because both are because it is an alternative nature alternative nature means one part is positive another part is the negative so what happened due to this effect rotor can't be rotated why because resultant flag resultant torque will be zero why this resultant torque zero result whenever the resultant flux will be zero then automatically resultant torque also will become the zero this is known as the double revolving theory this is called as the double revolving theory that means double revolving means one is anti-clockwise direction the another one is the clockwise direction due to this double revolving then automatically it, it can't rotate 
the resultant flux will become zero and resultant torque will also become the zero so that's why that's why the single phase induction so it is not self starting motor so it is not the self starting motor that's why single phase induction motor is not a self starting motor the reason is due to the double field revolving theory the resultant flux will become zero the resultant torque will become zero okay name itself there so to make self starting but we need to work it should be started to make self starting we need stator flux rotating in nature so generally what is the stator flux here the stator flux is generally alternating alternating but we should modify it this alternating flux into uh, what is that rotating rotating nature it should be rotate alternating should be converted into the rotating instead of alternating nature to make we use the various methods so stator flux is the alternative we should make into the rotating whenever the rotating there then automatically it will be working okay the single phase induction motor can be classified according to the starting methods starting methods we can use starting means we can convert alternating into the rotating methods yeah the those are those methods are like this so types of single phase induction motors one is the split phase induction motor and second one is shaded pole induction motor and third one is capacitor start induction motor and fourth one is capacitor start capacitor run induction motor the fifth one is permanent capacitor induction motor so these are all the types of single phase induction motor types of single phase induction motor okay these by using these number of types we can use the any method then that single phase induction motor will working as self starting motor but the, without these connections split phase connection and shaded pole connection and the capacitor connection capacitor connections these connections without these connection it can't be a self starting motor to make it a self starting we should use these modifications for the induction motor okay so in this we should use a split phase induction motor so we should discuss the one thing that is the split phase induction motor name itself look at here same thing so this is the single phase supply single phase supply and this is the supply current here these windings are so these windings are these windings are state r windings name itself these windings are state r winding just to observe here these winding here splitted here this winding is splitted here this is splitted both are split splitted here so this winding is called the main winding and this winding is called auxiliary winding this is main winding and the auxiliary winding by using this main winding and auxiliary winding by using this we can generate or it we we can we can run it okay so this is the rotor this is the rotor and this is the stator connection we can name it as the this is the rotor it will be rotates okay this is the stator connection this is the single phase supply current voltage and current and stator okay yeah so it it starting generally at starting we are giving the supply the supply voltage is like this and we have the main winding main winding approximately almost it has more resistance that why the main winding is current is like this auxiliary winding has uh, so more winding more inductance here that's why like this auxiliary winding have some less things so that's why this is the value the combination of main winding and auxiliary winding it will generate current it will generate the current so 
and starting condition both voltage and current have some voltage here some voltage here so by providing this at starting we are using main comma auxiliary windings both main and auxiliary windings by using the main and auxiliary winding the stator flux stator flux is rotating nature otherwise it can't be rotating nature okay so then by doing the flux the flux will be entering here and the induction motor induction motor having the conductors those conductors are cuts this flux then the emf will be generated then according to the lens law the rotor will be rotates okay after emf that will be rotates after reaching 75 to 80 percent of the synchronous speed that means 80 percent of synchronous speed the main winding is available so so starting torque slightly decreases due to this so the only the main winding is av available the auxiliary winding is removed so this will be open when it is open after reaching the 80 percent after reaching the 80 percent the well, the main winding is available and it will be removed okay so for this the main winding auxiliary winding only available for starting purpose after reaching the 75 to 80 percent it will be removed so this is the working of the single phase induction motor okay it, it will be continuously running but starting torque compared with the starting it will be slightly decreases so the single phase induction motor having some applications those are you know the general fan all of you know that and this is single phase induction motor second the blowers blowers third one is grinders fourth one is pumps these all are the single phase induction motors okay so this is about the single phase induction motor and why the single phase induction motor is not self starting motor then how can we uh, make it as starting of the motor what are the applications so this is i think all of you understand the session thank you